Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele with this crowd pleasing beef vegetable fried rice recipe that your family will come back for more. Let's get right into it because you do not want to miss this. So today I'm trying basmati rice on my channel for the first time and I'm using mandi rice thanks to my beautiful sister Obape's Kitchen who sent this to me. I'll leave her information in the description and also on the screen. So please do not forget to contact her for your mandi rice this rice i must say is one of oh my goodness the tastiest basmati i've ever had i'm going to go ahead and wash it until the water runs clear what i noticed immediately was that it doesn't have too much starch so that is a plus so yeah i'm just going to quickly wash it until the water runs clear and we're going to go ahead and cook our rice continental food madam food madam international food captain who show you how to make pizza jala mango and ogro soup sushi and pastries all this and more sweet ajay beautiful i'll then go ahead and transfer it into my rice cooker season it with a bit of salt not too much because we'll be seasoning our fried rice i'm also going to go ahead and add in some coconut oil to help separate the rice beautifully give it a stir cover it up and allow it do its Thing. meanwhile i'm going to go ahead and prep my meat and as always you want to cut it against the grain which will help it cook faster so i'll cut it up and i'll soak it in room temperature water for about 15 to 20 minutes to get rid of some of the blood and also preservatives that are in the meat then i'm going to go ahead and season it with some onion powder ginger powder garlic salt and some all-purpose seasoning stir everything together and set it aside to marinate beautifully while we go right ahead and prep our vegetables and for the vegetables i'll be using red bell pepper yellow bell pepper orange bell pepper green bell pepper red onions carrots cabbage scallion and some ginger and garlic by the time we're done prepping our rice is also ready and just check it out beautiful oh my goodness these are some extra long grain rice just perfect for your fried rice you know with this your fried rice is going to look absolutely beautiful so let's begin i have my wok on fire and i'm going to go ahead and add in some coconut oil you may use any oil of your choice then go right ahead and add in your meat once you add the meat it's going to release its juices cook it until it reabsorbs the juices then it is ready remember we cut it against the grain so it will not take too long in cooking okay so as you can see it has released its own juices we'll cook it until it reabsorbs the juices now you can cook it to your preferred tenderness but i think cooking it until it is nice and tender just like this and there is no more juices meaning this meat is going to be super delicious then it is ready let's get it out and set it aside in the same pan we'll add some coconut oil and we're going to go ahead and fry some eggs please skip this if you do not care for eggs but i love the additional flavor it brings to this meal season it with a bit of salt give it a quick scramble and set it aside
Next, I'm going to go ahead and stir fry our veggies and I begin once again with some coconut oil. To that, I'll add our carrots and some all-purpose seasoning. Now, I cook the carrots first because it is the hardest of all the vegetables, but I only cook it for about 30 seconds. I'll then go ahead and add in my peppers and also my onion and I'll give everything a quick stir and then I'll add in my cabbage. Once the cabbage goes in, it is done. We need to get it off the fire because we want to maintain the crunchiness of our vegetables. Next, in our pan, I'm going to add in some coconut oil. To that, I'll add my sliced up onions and grated garlic and ginger. My two favorite ingredients of this whole recipe. It takes your fried rice to the next level. Stir fry for about a minute and then go right ahead and add in your rice and also some soy sauce. I'm using low sodium soy sauce. You may use any soy sauce of your choice. Stir fry this for about two minutes until the soy sauce have combined beautifully with our rice. You may use more or less soy sauce if you prefer. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in my meat, eggs, and vegetables. And I'll stir everything together until it is well combined. Sprinkle in some sesame oil, which will elevate the flavors and add in our scallions. I usually don't like to stir fry because I love the fresh taste of it. Stir everything together and our beef vegetable fried rice is ready. Just look how beautiful this look. Look, with mandy rice, whether you're good or not at fried rice, trust me, you will pass. <laughs> so now all all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy and what better to enjoy it with than our own homemade shito yes it went very well with it obapa thank you so much for sending me this rice i really appreciate you and i truly enjoyed it sweet team make it a point to try it and let me know how you like it thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe until i see you in another video stay safe Keep loving each other and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke unamini uchemi sweete mahabotu. Bye y'all.